Hello, welcome to the show. Today we are going to talk about my lady, my precious, my Galadriel. Galadriel, Light of Valinor. Oh my god, this is a juicy. Okay, this is a commander deck. Let's dive in and see how it goes. So if you want to check out this deck, uh, links down below on uh, moxfield.com. I have the link there. It is a work in progress deck and uh, what I find with every commander deck, I'm tweaking and tweaking to try to figure out the best operational way for the deck to function. But this is a very fun little deck to play with for, because she is a, a five CMC. Two of them are colorless. Uh, then there are the band colors, green, white, and blue. She is a legendary creature, of course, and elf noble. Alliance. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, choose one that hasn't been chosen this turn. So just off the bat here, okay, we need to figure out a way to get the creatures on the battlefield on the other's turn. So if you have um, Wolverine Riders, there's a lot of other cards in here that that uh, you, you could put in here that I don't have. So, you know, just play with what you have and try to figure out how to maximize her potential. So you have, uh, like a Kinder Egg, three options here. Mode 1, add 3 green. Mode 2, put plus 1, plus 1 counter on each creature you control. Note, that's her too. And then you have Scry 2, then draw a card. Yeah, baby! Okay. So, the, the creature package, we are going back to what all the creatures are. We have a sorcery package, we have an instant package, and we have an artifact package and enchantment package, and then 36 lands. So I'm not going to go in deep with every card that's in this deck because uh, I'm just going to talk a, take some notes here so you can have some ideas of what you want to build. So I have a strong no uh, in instant uh, hair, which are uh, counter spells with uh, the offer you can't refuse, Archon Denial, Cyclonic Rift is not a counter spell, but you know, if they have built up their table very strong, you can just remove everything they have and you can charge in for your final attack. Ferris Garden Chip, Fluster Storm, Force of Will, Galadrium Ambush. It's a very fun one. Uh, Galadrius Dismissal. No, this one is very, very interesting. It has um, cost one white and is an instant target creature faces out. If this spell was kicked, each creature target player controls faces out instead. So if you pay four instead of uh, four CMC instead of one, uh, you get this effect that's just awesome. Note, the, you can uh, face out your own creatures and facing out a creature doesn't remove uh, counters on them. So that's a way to keep your counters and everything is good. Uh, we have Terrific Protection and we have a Sword of Plowshares. In artifacts, uh, one one to note is uh, Fana Harmonicon. It's an artifact which gives artifacts and creatures entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger. That ability triggers an additional time. So yeah, that, that can be fun. The Great Henge, just value train. So Aura Shards is just one of those cards that are just very nice in any type of deck you can throw it in. Uh, whenever a creature enters, comes whenever a creature comes into play under your control, you may destroy target artifact or enchantment. So that's that's just gravy, baby. Um, okay, so let's go up a little bit and see what we have more. So one win condition is approach of the second zone. If this spell were cast from your hand and you cast another spell named approach for the second zone this game, you win the game. Otherwise, put approach from the second zone into your Owner's Library 7th from the top and you gain 7 life. So, using the Scry ability, you can try to irk in a win if <laughs> everything stalls. It is uh, one of the cards I think, um, probably maybe not are too good for this deck. Uh, one that's very fun is Ansuri's Predation. 
This, uh, for each creature your opponents control, create a 4-4 beast creature token. Each of those beasts fights another one of those creatures. So this will, uh, you know, happily um, poke every mode on Galadriel and it will also take care of a lot of creatures. So it's very nice and it gives you a very broad board and um, you stack, stack it right, you know, when they come down you get give them plus one plus one counters as well. Uh, and then they fight, they are 5-5. Five, five. So uh, that's a very great great little notification here. And there, there's a lot of things here that um, benefits when to uh, things comes into play and stuff that have the alliance ability. Uh, one of the biggest creatures you know good that works very good in this deck are uh fairy art artisans so if you are building this deck i recommend you to uh, you know this is one of those uh, cards you really want in this deck it's whenever a non-talking creature enters the battlefield under an opponent's control create a token that's a copy of that creature except it's an artifact in addition is other types the then exceal all the other tokens created with fairy artisans. So if they are putting down, you know, two, one, two, three creatures, guess what? You are triggering your Galadriel, and that's very fun. And another one is Illustrious Wanderglyph. It has ascend, so if you have ten or more um, permanents on your side of the table, um, you get other artifact creatures you control plus two plus two, because they have this city's blessing. And but the, the the gravy here is at the beginning of each upkeep, each upkeep. So wherever it is another one's turn, create a one one colorless gnome artifact creature token. So that's just it works very well with this uh, with this deck and it's very nice. Um so <clears throat> and the same is for Artastia of the Endless Web. It's uh Whenever I open a cast an instant a sorcery spell, create a 1-2 green spider creature token with reach. This also triggers your Galadriel and just good stuff. Uh, this one get uh, you know, you tap it and you can minus one with when it's one counter on it to untap it. And uh, if you then play a creature, you can plus one plus one, and then it will remove the minus one minus one counter on this one. So that that's a little a little small little hack in this deck um yeah otherwise there's a you know scurry oak that uh, whenever uh, that have evolved and whenever one or more plus one plus one counters is put on this one you get uh, a squirrel token so that's th this can combo nicely with um with her uh and then you have um like wood elves and you have spring bloom druid that uh, digs for more lands so that could be nice and white man lion enters the battlefield return creature you control to owner's hand so you can double tap and and get something so one of the best one drop mana stuff i have in this is Sarah ascendant so if you have this on your opening hand you you you're making hay um because it's then a six six with flying and life link so it's very nice but even so, if it's late in the game and you are below 30 lives, you have a 1-1 one, one that you have with have, have lifelink and you can plus one plus one. I have a soulless jailer just to stop graveyard um, shenanigans from my opponents. And um, uh, champion of the Lampaholt is also very good in this. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on the Lampaholt. But creature with power less than Champion of Slumber's power can't block creatures you control. So you, you build this as fast as you can, as big as you can, and every creature you have is, is unblockable by your opponent. And that could be very nice. Uh, Archivist of Ogma is very good if you're playing against people with um, fetch lands and, you know, that are searching the library for stuff and having to... to, to Tor tutorials to tutorial blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know what i mean but yeah if they, if they search their library for stuff you can gain one life and you can draw a card and drawing a card wins the game so that that's why we have esper sentinel here 
and uh, we have um, other draw engines inside of this build as you can see here with the great, great hench uh, it will draw cards um, guardian project uh, will draw a card and um, yeah it's, it's very nice it's very nice so uh, and yeah of course she will also give you you basically dig if you're really in a search for something you could dig three down in your library to, to get what you need so it's um she's very nice i, I very much enjoy playing this deck it's um it's you have to keep track of stuff and stuff happened and <laughs> you are in my experience maybe the problem on the board that everybody else are, are trying to solve so keep that in mind and that's why we have a, a big counter spell here just to protect our galadriel you know we don't want her to die and um, some other stuff in it too like yeah she has boots because you know we need to have the boots on strap on the boots and get ready to go to town baby okay so hopefully you like this uh brief intake uh, tech of this deck uh there's going to be changes uh wolverine riders is going to get in there you know having um, a lot of ways to trigger her in the opponent's turn is very strong it's what's make her over the top uh, so current build are sitting on two thousand and something dollars um was nice to have the real stuff on that bombshell uh, thank you all for watching and fuck off <laughs> see you next time